Hey everyone, Kyle once again, and welcome back to the next episode review of Tomochin as a Girl, episode 12. And I gotta say, once again, 10 out of 10 episode, loved it. And sadly, we only have one more episode to go, because it's 13 episodes. And please don't, please don't mind my dog barking. She's always, she always always barking at somebody outside, so. But, um, but episode 12, I really loved it, you know, and, uh, which I thought the, which originally I thought that the whole episode was going to be a play on the, on the whole, uh, Cinderella play, though, but turns out it was, like, over within a few minutes. But, uh, I thought it was good because the rest of the episode focused on, because June finally had the cur courage to conf Although he awkwardly though, but he ultimately did confess his feelings for for Tomo saying finally saying that I do love you, you know. And so, but I'll get to that though. But but the beginning of of of, of this episode with the whole Cinderella story, like I said, the play. I mean, it was nice to see all three of them. All three of the moms are there: Tomo's mom, Carol's mom. And, um, and Mizuzu's mom is there as well. Even, uh, Tomo's dad is there, but he's wearing, uh, shades and a, you know, master to dis dis disguise himself. <laughs> and, um, and, it, and, it, and, Mizuzu, and Mizuzu's mom, you know, like, she was told about, uh, uh, her daughter's play and gives her that same evil aura that, like, her, hey, it's not like that kind of, it just runs in the genes, right? <laughs> She's, she gives out, she gives out that evil aura that uh, her daughter does, you know, and since she, since she didn't tell her mom about the whole play, though, so she's gonna bring the camera and film it, that's what you get for lying to your mom, <laughs> so, and, and uh, Carol's mom has bodyguards behind her, <laughs> and the whole play was, like, it actually played out very normally, you know, there was, no, like, no, um, no funny uh, things that happened during the play, or, like, a slip-up, or a, um, awkward moment no actually it just played it played off very uh well no hiccups or mishaps during the play and everyone and everyone loved every especially ever all the everyone especially the girls liked uh toma when she played the prince but but people liked that with um they were, they were impressed with how mizuzu played as cinderella and then after there was the cultural party afterwards that uh first like uh like um, there was the cafe, cosplay cafe, the maid cafe, then there's the haunted house, and then there's the, uh, dance afterwards, right? And, you know, we have, um, with Ko, like, um, yeah, there was a guy who, who likes, who loves Carol, right? Dancing with her, and then, like, yeah, um, and then with, uh, then with, uh, Tomo dancing with June. But the Mizuzu's are all, all by herself, though, but even, um, the guy, um, what was the guy name? I forgot his name. Who had the noodle shop from last from last week, right? Um, uh, wanted wanted to dance with her, but she goes and walks away. <laughs> um, but um, and then while while uh, while June is dancing with uh, with Tomo, with the couple's like dancing like, in a line. Uh, June explained how 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 does it feel like when. He actually he wants a woman to be uh, to dance with and um, how the other girls think they're right on how they how they, these two are and he says like they're like they're they're not wrong and um, well they, they are wrong and Tomo gets all flustered and she goes and runs runs off and like the next day she's been acting all awkward energetic with June you know running ahead of him even uh Mizuzu and Carol saying oh she's been acting all, all awkward right and. Then with June, she goes and go. And I like with the uh, goes and talks with um, with Mizuzu because it finally to bury that one thing that he has. Mizuzu asking June, "Was this was was I your first love?" And and uh, June says no, and he's like, "She probably she she probably understands though, right?" But she has the whole thing like she had kind of like kind of liked it on that first day they were sort of growing up until after the whole. Um, adventure thing with him went off the rails though, but there was a one there was a one day where she thought she liked that though. But thing is though, like she understood that she knows that he she knows that he know that he loves uh, Tomo and wanted to explain to bear it uh, uh, bear the what they have between the two of them and saying that you know and she goes and says that um, 
you know, I, I never had a, I never had a, a love anyway. So, and then she kind of feels guilty afterwards, where she kind of like, like I said, how in the, in the last episodes where she kind of she blamed herself because she kind of feels guilty that uh, where how Tomo isn't acting all girly that how she was. She kind of cursed him, I mean, cursed him, cursed her enough for being all feminine stuff. So just she's the reason why she's the way he is, though, right? And like how she said in the last episode, like I said, if you hate me, that's fine. Don't don't can't change that. But if you're being over 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 if you're if you're overthinking it, you need you need you need to change that up fast. So, and then when <laughs> then, like, June does like a, a trick, pulls a trick where he, uh, there's someone's gonna challenge Tomo on the roof, right? And then this is where we get the moment where she where he finally can, says, "Oh, I really do." You know, I love you, but um, but the whole thing that he knew when when she he recalls when he when she first confessed to him in the in the first episode, he was kind of playing it off right, like oh well, you're just still funny, you know, right? Actually, he knew that she, he actually knew that she was confessing to him. She he knew about oh that um, all of that right and and because he, he, he before he said all that though. He said, um, "Hit me first, you know. I need you to hit me because I'm because I'm I deserve it to be hit." And then follow up with he said that he that he knew that she was confessing to him, and, and that he knew that I was trying to be do act more girly, right? He's like, "Oh, I didn't know." But then then she goes and sucker punches him. Then he goes and says, "You know, I love you." And then she turns all bright red, and then she goes and runs away, calling him a dumbass. And then she goes with talking with Carol and Mizuzu, saying that well, you know, she 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 blew it right there. You know, she ran away and just called him a dumbass. And and then we get this really nice moment where where Mizuzu, for the first time, we definitely ge see a genuine side of her, where she starts she, she starts crying her eyes out. You know, she she wants to apologize to Tomo for for what she did to her. You know, basically, like I said. You're the reason why you try to change because of her, you know, and and you just should just stay the way you are, and you know, and afraid and afraid of losing her best, and afraid of losing her best friend, and she starts generally starts crying. This is like this the first time we see her like being acting all sad and all that, just really crying her eyes out. And Tomo's like, you know, no, don't, you know, it's okay, and. You know, but she's really going to tell him how she feels this time. So, and Mizu said, yeah, you go, you go and tell him, you know. And this is the first time where she, where she generally smiles of genuine happiness. Because usually, you know, when she, when she smiles, she like smiles when she's like, like an evil smile, right? But this is like a genuine happy, happy smile that she gives. And even Car and when Carol's going to leave, she actually holds her hand telling her to, to, you know, to stop right away, you know. To stay with her for a second, and even Carol see, even Carol sees a little bit. Even though Carol, like she's an she's an airhead, like she's a robotic alien, right? Acting like a robotic alien, right? She kind of know she fully understands well, you know. Despite being all that though, she knows understand well, and she glad and she's glad that um that Carol has that means that she's glad that Carol has a friend like Mizuzu. Yeah, you know, I'm glad you're my friend. That we're friends, and even before when, when Tomo before Tomo leaves, even Mizuzu gives her gives her a fist bump and say, "I'm glad you're my best friend." That's kind of like the actual genuine. That's the first like genuine, real feeling that of happiness that T Mizuzu says throughout this whole show. You know, out of the bottom of her heart, genuinely smiling, crying, even though she says, "Oh, this isn't. I'm not crying," <laughs> but. Fist bumping or saying, "I'm glad I have it. you're my best friend." That's why I enjoy I enjoy these characters. You know, like like Carol wears her heart and a sleeve despite being the airhead that she is. Mizuzu, like being all acting all being all cold hearted and stuff, right? Though know, she has all she had all those feelings she had buried deep in her, like buried deep within her, right? But she finally set confessed all this stuff, you know. Letting all of her, all her feelings out, being very happy, crying, and just really saying that Tomo saying that you were, I'm glad you are my best friend, right? That was that was a that was a very good character moment for for Mizuzu. And then 
And then finally, when Tomo goes runs back to runs back to June, say, "Hey, you know, you really do, you really did mean that." So they go and they go walk they go, they walk each other home, and and then um, really that's to explain how they feel about each other. And then he goes and races up the temple stairs, right? And and when they talk about how since they're but they're best buds, and they want to say. Um, be more than they since they're this is a confess that they love each other they can they're gonna be more than just bad best buds right and be being a girl boyfriend and girlfriend right but june says that he um even though they confess their, their feelings for each other finally though but they still want to he still wants to be he still wants to compete with tomo you know as best buds and slash rivals and boyfriend and girlfriend right they still want he still wants to compete with her you know Try to still try and beat her and all of the, you know, and it was um, it's a it, which she accepts though, right? Despite there would be a boyfriend and girlfriend, they still want to be have that best bud, you know, relationship still. And when she goes and says "I love you too," he goes and goes and falls down the steps. He goes and falls down the steps, despite he hasn't he hasn't broken any bones in his body, any arm, his legs, or even his neck, you know. Despite, because he, he fell a whole bunch of down, fell down a whole bunch of stairs, concrete stairs, I would say. Well, I guess, I guess, to give the fact his physique, you know, all that training he did while practicing uh, training with Tomo and all the punches he's been taking, you know, I guess his body is built to withstand all that, despite falling a whole, a whole bunch, down, a whole bunch, falling down a whole bunch of stairs, right? <laughs> oh my jeez, but you know what? I, I buy it because all the training and hard work he's done building his, his strength and his body up, I guess he can withstand falling down a whole flight of stairs and so and then and she goes and goes and raises like yes you know and with that though i'm curious now i'm curious how the, the last episode is going to be because i think this is because this is the only season we're going to get because there was there was not many this the manga series is a it was is, is short right it, is, it wasn't a full it's not a, like a 20 manga series to, to adapt more right it was like about like nine volumes so i think we're the, it's gonna end with all with the with just one season though which if they make the the last episode a really good one like okay maybe maybe it's maybe they'll hold hands or maybe they finally will kiss you know i'll be happy with that you know because shows that the that seals their relationship you know and how because 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 i'm really curious to, to, to see how that ends so and i'm looking forward to it so this episode was was a really great episode. I loved it. Ten out of ten once again. This show has been really awesome too. You know, I think it's one of the best rom com slash um, slice of life slash romantic comedies I've seen. You know, compared to like since like the one I saw last year, My Dress Up Darling. That was a, that was an awesome series too. I love My Dress Up Darling, which I'm glad that's getting a second season for. I'm looking forward to that as well. But. Um, but uh, but Tom, but I think that's I, I put that right up there because with my dress up, darling. But uh, Tom is a girl. The episode twelve, fantastic episode. I loved it. Finally, we got to see like Mizuzu, you know, finally laying all that uh, all those feelings out, you know, being happy for once. Um, and then June finally making his finally, conf uh, but awkwardly, like I said, very awkwardly confessing his feelings for Tomo finally saying I love you and she goes and says the same thing you know <laughs> despite that he almost <laughs> broke his entire body falling down those stairs you know <laughs> but I'm really curious to see how the last episode is going to go so and that's going to be and when, when that time comes I'm like from next from next week so I'm like be sad to see this show ends because I really like I love it I love the show yeah this is as of so far is the favorite show I have this season so far so but it's gonna be sad to see this one go so but 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 we go the next week, and we'll see how that goes. So, this is episode twelve. Thumbs up, definitely. Confession finally at last. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the for the next for the last episode review of Toma Chin from next week and more movie reviews to come. Continuing with the Steven Seagal marathon and other stuff as well. See you on the next video. Later.